Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. This time we're looking at a replacement PLA here for the Commodore 64. This has been sent by Dave Curran at Timeout Software. Sorry, it seems like the Dave, Tam uh, Dave Curran Timeout Software channel at the moment. <laughs> he sent me, he did send me quite a few things. Uh, I didn't have to pay him for these, so it was very, very good of him. Um, I'm blown away with his generosity, really, sending me these things for review. Um, and I'm not just saying they're great because he sent me them for free. If they were crap, I would say they're crap. They're not. They're very good. Um, so he's done the PLA um, mod here. Um, it's, it's identical. Um, well, I say identical. It's based on the same chip. It's the AT27C512R, uh, 45 nanoseconds um, OTP type chip that he's used for this. Um, but he just produced his own little board. I'll take that board out so you can get a better look. There you go, you can see the chip out there now, so he's put a nice label on top there, so it's obvious what it is. Um, and you can just about see down there, there's a little SMD cap uh, inside it. Now, I've been tinkering with this a little bit, so you can see there's a little bit of solder just on the edge of that, you know, where I've removed it with some uh, uh, the solder braid, and the same on the other pin over there. I had all sorts of problems, and I thought it was the PLA, and it wasn't. Um, it's a long story short, but if you're using a Nano Swinsid, it, it would appear that the Nano Swinsid has an issue with these replacement OTP chips. There's, there's a timing thing going on or something. So, yeah, I think probably with the chip select. Um, so that that's that's quite interesting. I'm not sure why that would happen with a nano SID, but not uh, you know an actual SID chip. Um, it's very strange. I did wonder if it's something to do with the drive level, some of these pins not being sufficient for what the nano SID. Is uh, you know has been programmed to expect or something. Maybe there's some very tight timing critical code um, written into the Nano Swin SID there, um, whereas uh, you know a, an actual SID is a bit more forgiving. So that is an interesting point to know that if you do the PLA revision I showed previously using this chip, or you get one of these from Dave, or you even get um, an, uh, any other aftermarket PLA uh, replacement, you may well get issues with a Nano Swin SID. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether. Uh, any of those like the super the authors of the super PLA or any of those other PLA replacements have they actually tested with a nano swinsid to see how those work um, and again you might have one of the, you might have that combination of things in your system yourself so please post in the comments down below um, if you can provide any more information but I would th it looks like the issue is with the nano swinsid rather than the SID it could well be that the um, this just you know is not quite the time is not quite the same as an actual PLA um, and that's what causes the issue, and then I know Swinsid has been programmed to it with the exact timing of an actual PLA. I don't know, I would think it's the former rather than the latter because everything does work with this. Other than the Nano Swinsid, all the games work, the carts work, there were no issues, no compatibility issues with anything, really. So, you know, if it was a timing issue, you'd expect it to manifest in other ways and affect other things, not just necessarily just the Nano Swinsid. But anyway, yeah, these are a good replacement. I've tested this in three of my other C64 boards. It works fine in all of them. No issues at all. I've run, you know, the diagnostic stuff, testing the RAM, testing everything out, leaving it on a burning test, no issues. And then I've played numerous games and things um, on the, this as well, which I'll, I'll show something in a minute just to show you it's, it's actually working. Um, as a side note, while we're on the C64, this is the one that didn't, I think there were two CIAs missing. Um, now, it was around the time where I ordered a bunch of CIAs and I got some from China. Um, one of the ones from China that was in, I forget which position, it was in this one here, I think. Um, just while I was testing, and you know, it's, it's off the floor. This it's off. It's on anti-static foam here. Everything was working fine, and then just suddenly I switched it off and on, and there was no cursor. Um, I thought that's a CIA problem, so I switched it off and on a few times. You know, to reseat the chip, just the same every time. No cursor. Swap them around. Floppy drive wasn't working. Um, I could have. I could have had those the wrong way around. Actually, it might have been this one that was the one that failed originally, and then swapped them around, and then they had floppy drive problems. I can't remember. But anyway, so one of them, one of them was it, uh, an issue, um, and I swapped it out for another chip that I got from Germany and that worked fine um, retested the one I got from China in another machine it doesn't work it's still doing the same thing so one of those ones I got from China um, has not lasted very long at all um, which is strange but anyway um, I just thought I'd mention that as a you know by the by kind of thing really um, we'll load a couple of games up now I'll just show you this working so I thought before I show you any games I'll show you the issue with the Nano Swinsid actually if I just wait for the sound part of this test to start if you just listen um, bearing in mind this has got a crusty SID, so I think one of the channels is not working. Um, but you can still hear the, you know, the the scale of uh, tones and things coming out of the thing um, at the right times.
There you go. So you can hear that was fine. There's really a channel missing, and I'm not sure if the noise will work. Yeah, there is. It's very very quiet, though. It's not particularly loud, that noise channel on this set. But anyway, I'll put the Nano Swinsert in there. Just listen to how that sounds. Okay, so you can see I've got the Nano Swinsert in there now. Um, switch it on and see what happens. So if you just listen to the sound on this, hopefully you'll be able to tell what I mean. Um, in an upcoming video, I'll be covering this. Um, you can just about see that. It's a really sexy board that, again, from Dave Curran. Um, dual sit board. Um, I don't have um, a, an additional physical SID to test it with just at the moment. I also need some, uh, you know, audio out type connector as well uh, to stick on the the three pin uh, header. So I'll sort all that out. Um, it might be a week or two. I plan on sticking this in one of my uh, new case C64s. Can you hear that? Yeah, so there's like a minor timing glitch there. Very interested. Um, if I test that with the original PLA, you know, an actual MOS PLA, it's fine. There's no issues at all. So there is some really weird timing timing glitch there. Um, I'm not sure if it's just this PLA that's doing that. Um, because I'm sure I tested with my, mind you, when I tested my swap out PLA, I didn't test it with the Nano Swinsert. So it would seem that the problem is with the Nano Swinsert. But anyway, um, you know, rest assured, these these PLA replacements do work. If you're using actual hardware, there are no issues at all. Now, I know Dave has uh, had problems getting the um, replacement PLA here working in one revision of his, you know, one of his board revisions there. But it seems to work in all of his others. Um, without any issues at all, and that, uh, the experience I've had is I've had, it's worked okay in everything. It was, you know, the, I shouldn't really be showing this because I'm going to put people off, I guess, you know, a PLA replacement. But the Nano Swin said, you know, how many people have actually got one of these and going to use one of those anyway? Uh, I don't know, not very many really. Something else I thought I'd point out here as well is, and this is not related to the PLA. Can you see the colour shift there? We can get a, a change to blue. Um, this seems to be related to the revision of the kernel on here. There's a known bug, uh, as, well, as far as I can gather, in certain versions of the file browser. may well be that I'm using an old version of the file browser here. Um, but yeah, it's interesting how that changes. There's nothing else wrong with this machine because um, I, you know I've done all sorts of tests and diagnostics on it, I've run games and things on it, I've played an awful lot of stuff on it, there's no problems at all. That that issue with the colour only ever appears in the file browser. Um, and I do appear to have, I think it's revision 2 kernel on this board, so that's interesting stuff I guess. I thought I should point out while I was here. Anyway, we'll just load a game up now and you can see what it's, uh, what it's like. There you go, so that's loaded. Uh, bear in mind it's got a crusty SID this, it really has. So it might not sound normal, but there's nothing wrong with this, so you know, it's working fine with this PLA. Doesn't, I don't know why, this doesn't feel like the normal Akari Warriors to me. I don't know if this is like a hack or a different version or something, but I don't remember it starting like this. It's, you scroll up the screen, you know, uh, and you can fire grenades, you can't on this, so this is... I don't know, is it homebrew? I don't know what the hell this is. Unless it's the second one, is it Victory Road or something? I don't know. These PLA replacements work really well if you can't find a MOS, um, you know, original chip. Um, it's just a shame that doesn't that these don't work with a Nano Swinsed, you know, and it's the same with mine, you know, the one I did. It's just, I had exact the same chip anyway, you know, it, it's just that Dave's produced a professional little PCB for this, but um, there seems to be um, an incompatibility issue with these Nano Swinsed's. Um, I've got some uh, replacement SIDs coming from China, so we'll see what those are like. Um, I'm not, I'm sort of expecting them, gonna, you know, to be glitchy, maybe have a faulty channel or maybe questionable filters. We'll see. We'll see what they're like. I think I've ordered four, so we'll see what those are like, and I'll report back on uh, those on a future video. Anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.